subscribe to my channel to learn about health-related knowledge. What I will talk about today is common symptoms and misunderstandings of uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids are caused by abnormal proliferation of cells in the myometrium. When uterine fibroids begin to grow, only a small mass is formed in the myometrium. If it is still in the muscle layer after enlargement, it is called uterine intramural fibroids. If the tumor protrudes to the outer surface of the uterus and grows on the outer layer of the uterus, it is called subserous uterine fibroids. If it gradually protrudes into the uterine cavity and grows under the endometrium during the occurrence, it is called submucosal uterine fibroids. At present, the cause of uterine fibroids is not clear. It is generally believed that it is related to the level of estrogen. When women's sexual life is uncoordinated, work stress and pressure are too high, it is easy to cause endocrine dysfunction. Long-term continuous stimulation of large amounts of estrogen is prone to uterine fibroids. Most uterine fibroids grow on the body of the uterus, accounting for about 90%, and a few can grow on the neck of the uterus. Tumors vary in size, as small as soybeans are smaller, and large ones can grow up to 10 kilograms in weight. Some have only one fibroid, and some have several or even dozens of them. Uterine fibroids are neoplasms, and they generally do not disappear naturally. It is worth noting that the nature of uterine fibroids can be changed. The best outcome is tumor atrophy, but sometimes infection and necrosis may occur. Typical symptoms of uterine fibroids 1. Abnormal menstruation the menstrual cycle is shortened, about once every 20 days, the menstrual period is long, and the number of bleeding increases. 2. Lump in the abdomen. When the uterine fibroids gradually enlarge and protrude into the abdominal cavity, in the early morning on an empty stomach or when the bladder is full, a hard and active mass can be felt in the lower abdomen. 3. Constipation. Usually, stools are normal, and sudden bowel movements have difficulty, tenesmus. 4. Urgency and frequent urination. If there is no disease in the urinary system itself, urgency and frequent urination appear. Even urinary dysfunction and urinary retention can be considered as uterine fibroids oppressing the bladder. 5. Increased vaginal discharge. Due to the enlargement of the uterine cavity. Increased glandular secretion lead to increased vaginal discharge. When the surface of submucosal fibroids is accompanied by infection, a large number of bloody or purulent leucorrhea will appear, and there is a pungent smell. 6. Anemia. Uterine fibroids cause long-term excessive menstrual blood, which can lead to secondary anemia. In severe cases, symptoms such as malice, pallor, shortness of breath, and palpitation can occur. It is wrong to take medicine to cure fibroids. Some people think that taking some medicine can eliminate uterine fibroids. This is misleading. Uterine fibroids are difficult to get rid of. Long-term self-administration of so-called therapeutic drugs may cause liver and kidney damage. Generally speaking, uterine fibroids grow slowly and have little effect on health, so small uterine fibroids do not need to rush for surgical treatment. In some people, after menopause, uterine fibroids may gradually shrink due to decreased ovarian function and reduced hormone secretion. Active treatment needs to be considered when the following situations occur. 1. Uterine fibroids are enlarged, and the entire uterus is larger than the volume of three months of pregnancy. 2. Increased menstrual flow, prolonged menstrual period and non-menstrual bleeding, even causing anemia. 3. Severe compression symptoms of uterine fibroids, such as hydronephrosis caused by ureter compression, or difficulty in urination or defecation, caused by pressure on the rectum and bladder. 4. Those with the rapid growth of uterine fibroids are generally happy if they grow up to 2 cm in diameter within a year. 5. When uterine fibroids cause infertility, the annual physical examination is the key. Because uterine fibroids are very common gynecological diseases. Therefore, medical experts recommend that women over the age of 30 should have a regular gynecological examination every year. The diagnosis of uterine fibroids can generally be made through gynecological abdominal or vaginal examinations. Clinically, B ultrasound is usually used to understand the size of uterine fibroids, the location of uterine fibroids, the number of uterine fibroids, and the relationship with the muscle wall of uterine fibroids, or make a differential diagnosis with the help of B ultrasound. 